Okay, hopefully I get this right. Hi guys, it is me, Miss Matcha Blossom. Today, this is an older video I made of the year of 2020, and it's a Wuxia slash Shanxia inspired Hanfu. And I did a lot of editing on this because there was a lot of things that had mistakes here and there, and I'm sorry for the quality content. There was something wrong with my computer editor at the time, but now I have a new editor. So please feel free to enjoy it. If you have any questions on how I made this, feel free to leave it down in the comment below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, I didn't remember. Hello. Hi guys, it is Miss Matcha Blossom and today I'm in my bedroom, as you can see. Um, I'm actually debating because now it is officially fall in the place I live because the fall season has finally come. Thank God. You're probably wondering why I have a bunch of just random polyester chiffon looking material. It's because I'm going to do a DIY today to get rid of this. <laughs> A Han Fuji. I know that this channel, if you guys are new to this channel, I'm gonna be honest, what I do here is I do a lot of unboxings for Han Fu. We're talking about Han Fu fashion, if not talking about how it relates into ancient Chinese um, lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, hit the like and subscribe for more videos with the bell notification. We're gonna be talking about this. These are really pretty, and I've always thought about upcycling some old material to make into Han Fu because. I wanted to go ahead and reuse stuff instead of buying new things. So, and it's pretty easy to get these curtains if you're wondering. I got it from Walmart for around five to six bucks. Um, I have actually, right in here, I have two 84 panels and I have uh, two 63 panels. That's a lot of material. Um, from there, I'm going to go ahead and decide how I'm going to cut it out. Now, if you guys know a good website for Han Fu patterns, like where I can actually buy it because I've looked online and it's very hard for me to find some. I know they're out there. I know they are because I've seen people have them. I just can't find it at the current moment of this video. There. But if you're interested in this video, keep watching until the end to see the final result. But for right now, I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink my little tea. My vanilla chai tea. And my cookie. I guess I'm covering up my painting. Hold on a sec. Anyways, <laughs> hi. There. Just to let you guys know, also, um, with the Hanfu top that I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna make the top and the bottom kind of similar, 
and the skirt is going to have an underlay of a white bottom piece so I don't have to overlay something again. Not just because it's sheer and I don't want to use more than one curtain, but because I want to make it look like a cute overlay. You stretching? Your neck hurt? And yes, that's my painting. I'm still working on it. Don't judge me. I do want to say this one thing about this Hanfu that I'm making. Just as a side, Chen Jia novels or the genre about Chinese fantasy. Like I mentioned before, it's normally pe people who are priests or monks or people who are trying to reach enlightenment. The reason why I'm making it um, Zhang Jia inspired is because it's a genre. It's not about one novel or saying this is how it all looks like for that genre. Just take that at face value. Just, just letting you guys know. Um, if you want to know more about that, I'll put a link down below so you guys can see. So mine is a little bit different with that. I just want to let you guys know that in case somebody in the comments tries to attack me. I know I messed up. That's all I'm trying to say. This is the pattern of how I want it to look like. This is where the neck band will be. I attached these sleeves. I didn't sew them on yet, so they're pinned on. I try to do it this way. Normally, I try to keep the sleeves without parted as much. That's also another design of it, but I'm just going to try to do it like full next time, like without cutting off the sleeves or adding on sleeves. Um, I have completed this shirt. Um, it's a little too oversized, so I made it way too oversized. But that just goes to show you, you could kind of like shrink this down a bit. I don't want to get rid of this over. But normally you're supposed to go to the right at first and then the left. I realize my sleeves are a little too long, right? What I did was I just folded it in. If I don't know if you can see it right here. So I'm just like tucking it in to see where I want to cut it at. Now here is the final look of the jacket. Now if you guys can tell, I'm holding this because I don't have the right shirt. and um waist belt with the skirt. What I did was to hold this I actually put two ties I'm trying to stand up on my tippy toe. Uh, two ties right here just to hold it in place but I have a big bum back here which makes the fabric kind of like lay on each other like sit up above my bum and that's what you get here. But I'm gonna go ahead and go over here guys so um I can see you guys better. I'm sorry if you keep seeing me wear glasses. So this is what I mean by this is kind of like a jacket overlay that's similar to um, Zhao Zhai. Um, I probably butchered it. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> this is just a PJ modernization thing I made personally. So it's not according to Dynasty because it's just an Hanfu inspired white shirt that has a tie over it. So with this, if you can obviously see, this is missing some sleeve. So, and where I got this dress, what what kind of dress it is, I actually made it. So I actually took a Han Fu that I bought online, the one that you see in the video that I mentioned, the review. I took the basic design of it and I made my own. This dress is going to be a thing. Well, the skirt is actually going to be something I'm going to use to cross reference to how I'm making the bottom of my skirt. My dilemma here is I think I don't have enough of this fabric for the skirt but what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do because I feel like I just need a yard or so of this like maybe a half a yard to make it as long to go around my waist because I do have a big bum missing a yard or half a yard so what I'm gonna have to do is the fabric that I actually have it for this one it's a little bit too short I could attempt to try to sew on whatever I could to it horizontally. What I also I'm going to do is, cause I'm just trying to use a leftover fabric in my house so I can buy new fabric. I feel like this is not even long enough cause this is a thicker, thicker linen that I have. Cause most of these were hand-me-downs that were given to me. So I'd like to reuse stuff before I start buying more stuff. Not only because of space savings, but like also because it's environment friendly.
There's so many yellow light. Hold on. All right, much better. I put my uh, softbox on, so now you can see things a lot more clearly. Jack is asleep, sort of, whatever he's doing. So what I did was for the bottom of the skirt, I kind of realized it only touches like, like right here of my stomach. So I just added a waistband on it. It's not as thick as I wanted to be. With that, I'm going to, I'm just checking the distance because just like the other skirt I had, the pink one, I did this where two thirds of it was covered by the waistband and then the other third, which is at the end, was actually used by another piece and that's how I got the opening for the little hole so I have like the opening for the waist high. Once again, if you want a detailed video of this, like a tutorial, I normally have a costume channel where I do costumes and traditional clothing. This is what I deal with. Why are you so hey, excuse you. Walks all over it. Golly. Um, it is snowing. Mind you, it is October 27th at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to sew today. So not like I don't, like I plan this because I'm kind of upset. I was like, maybe it won't be as bad the next day. But no, it snowed yesterday, right? It snows today and then it snows tomorrow. I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy. I'm going to relax before I get into the sewing project. But um, just thought I'd let you guys know why this project's taking a little longer. I actually started a project with this, but I had to cancel it because it was going through the months of this year. If I have time, I'll, I'll post it, but. Sorry, Jack, I didn't mean to scare you. So, I essentially have, what's the word? Fucked up, okay. I messed up because I realized my dress is way too long. And I say that because when I was even trying it on before I completed the last part, as you can see, it overlays two of the previous skirts I've had. One I've actually made myself and one I've actually bought there. But I've noticed I messed up. It's, it's a lot shorter because of the pleats, but see, in this one, if you guys can see my actual dress, I didn't put enough pleats, and it's just too dang long. So what I'm going to have to do is actually, instead of cutting it off like some people do, like, oh, let's just cut it off, that, that's too much work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add in some more pleats because it's going to be sitting at the waist. So we're just going to add a little bit more so it shortens it, and then if we do need to cut off excess fabric, that will be done. Jack, what are you doing? I play Queen's Why are you standing on my fabric? All right, guys. Um, if you can see, this is my half. We've completed, completed, completed. Okay, let me see. I'm not getting too excited because I, f I feel like they look gorgeous. Normally, I would have did something with my hair, but I am currently still working right now. Sorry, John. This is what my outfit looks like so far. I will tell you some of the things I do need to change on this outfit so you have an idea why I feel it's incomplete. Number one. So I, if you can obviously see. Um, the way I pleated this bottom half, I did it incorrectly. 
I made the bottom in the beginning very long, like wide. So normally with the uh, this bottom piece of the dress or the skirts of the outfits, they're normally kind of flared out like it is an A-line. And I already screwed that up. I uh, did the same thing on my last one and then I started making better ones after it. So, you know, hit and miss. So I learned a lesson in that, like how to make it more A-lined because I added more attachment to this. The next thing I do need to fix on here is the actual waistband. If you guys can see, it's just like the part of the skirt that was pleated, which I don't like. So I think you should always pleat before you add the... Other thing I would definitely say is that I might have to fix is just some of the little straightaway flyaway strings that I have on either the jacket itself or the inner lining. Another thing I did feel like I need an improvement on is this whole thing is supposed to be like crossed and I think I just have too much like looseness right here. You know what I'm saying? It makes me look like I got big boobies but you know your girl's a B cup. I, I ain't get that much boobies. With that, um, that's really all that I have with this one. I'm very proud of it because the good positive things I did do is I made this super long so it made it easier to wrap around my body. We'll have to fix the skirt later on. I did it the reverse way than my other skirt, which I don't know how I did that. This is just my inspiration of the Wu, um, Wuxia or um, the Zhanjin, Zhanju. I can't even talk today, bro. It's just my inspired look of the very Taoist or the Taoist um, inspired Hanfu that they always wear. I was very encouraged because, or either just like more of a noble or upper class kind of home for you, just depending on the drama or the time period you're talking. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is a very prolonged video because I was very skeptical with myself, like if I actually made this correctly or if it looks good or if it looks terrible. I was too hard on myself, so I just decided to upload it the best way I can. Do not forget to hit the like button to let me know that you're interested in more Han Fu DIYs or just Han Fu content. But also hit the subscribe button if you're interested in more of my Chinese paintings or Han Fu talks about, like whether it's Han Fu style videos, workbooks, sewing videos, all that jazz. But do not forget to hit the notification bell. It lets you know when I have a new video just coming out right on YouTube. Don't forget to make every day beautiful and I am blessing out.